Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Lens Island Let's Play series. In our last adventure, we unlocked the dungeon, but did not begin exploring it yet. We did begin exploring the procedural underground area, and we managed to get our tools upgraded for the first time. We even discovered an island full of people where we can do a little more trading, but that's probably going to happen for later in this episode. Get some food in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still having trouble talking. That's probably why I haven't recorded lately. We've, I've been having some trouble with my voice and that, like, being real stuffy and stuff because tis the season with all the weather changing. Anyway, back on topic. Um, I'm planning to get some farm going, as well as perhaps uh, gather more resources, including enough to build the first backpack upgrade. So that'll be interesting. We'll have to catch some deer for that. So the first thing I'm going to do, pull up the build system here, and we're going to look into what it's going to take to build a farm plot. We're going to put down like two or three of these. So we need 10 fibers, 20 wood, and 2 clay. Yeah. I'd like to put 3 down. So I'll need to gather some fibers and a bunch more wood. So let me go ahead and get some wood right here. See how much faster this better axe chops than just the makeshift one. It's such a quality of life thing to get that first upgrade at least. Yeah, they just fall in three chops. So handy. Now this one won't fall in three chops. It's a lot bigger, but we'll get more wood from it. The other thing I kind of want to do is do some fishing, make a little bit of gold... Okay, we got as much wood as we can carry. That's good. Let's go and pull out the sword and get some plant fibers. Need a bit more of that. Come on. There we go. I don't know exactly where I want to build the farm. I'm thinking probably right in this area. So let's go ahead and get a couple of those laid out real quick. You can see now we have enough to build at least one. Rotate it slightly. So there's one. And they'll give us a quick little tutorial about how to do crops. We have to water them. We'll need to eventually put a well in. And eventually you can do automated systems, but that's much later down the sort of tech tree, like more workbench upgrades and stuff required. See, I want this to kind of line up with the other one so the rows are going the same way. Boom! Okay, we've got two. I'd like to build a third. Let's go get the rest of that wood that we set down. Go ahead and gather a little more. We will need it. Still don't have quite enough for another plot. Oops. Okay. Stick here. A little bit more fiber. I do kind of want to mine up that stone because I don't like it just sitting there. It looks weird next to the house. Alright. Another farm plot. Alright, so that's the three I wanted to start with. We may not actually need all that, but let's look at our seed situation here. We go here to seeds. We got four blueberry seeds. So we'll definitely want to plant those. We got seven pumpkin seeds. We definitely want to plant those. Then we got some flower seeds, which are good for money, and a pear tree seed, which can grow a pear tree. So we'll plant the pear tree seed up here. Oops. Just click on the plot. Choose the thing you want to plant. And there it is. It's in. Now we'll have to water that. We'll get to that in a moment. Oops, wrong thing. Just click on the plot. 
Now, since I've got a lot of these, I can take plant all. It'll plant every seed it possibly can. And I'll go ahead and fill the last two slots here with uh, marigolds. Then here we'll plant all our blueberries. And we'll plant all our roses. And that's every seed we have. Now we need to get this watered. Oops, wrong tab. I'll get the hang of it eventually. There's a deer. We might uh, go get that. So we'll go ahead and put the watering can on in place of... No, I'll put that there. Put the hatchet here because we don't do a lot of mining on the surface. I am going to go get that deer because we will need leather. So you'll get to see how zany the process this is. All right, I hit it. So do some forward rolling to catch it, because they run as fast as you do. You need to be right on them to hit them. I mean, you're literally hitting them with a melee weapon, which is just so absurd. I really wish there was a better way to hunt these things. Oh, blueberries, good. Let's get those. Now the male deer, they can actually hit you, so you got to be real careful when you're after them. Where did that... Oh, don't tell me I lost her. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where are you hiding? If I was a doe, where would I go? Away from the crazy guy with the sword, that's where I'd go. <laughs> Alright. Well, we lost her. God dang it. Okay, well... We'll have to find another one. Let's go ahead and do the watering can thing. So if I select the watering can... Oh, wait, there, there's a bunch of them. All right, let's try that again. You gotta be careful, they, the stags, they hit you hard. They do like 25 damage. See, it tried to do it. It missed me. And they can also headbutt you as this is kicking. Alright, I hit him a couple times. Oh, come on. Okay, how many hits does it take? See, doing this with the machete, like, before you have the first sword upgrade, would be really tedious. Because you wouldn't do very much damage. And even with the proper sword, it takes a fair number of hits to take one of these down. There, I got him. Alright, so I got three hides and two venison. There, I hit her a few times. missing. There, got her. Well, I'm up to five hides. I need nine, because I need to make three leather. Sadly, the water doesn't slow them down a bit, but it doesn't slow us down either, so that's okay. If you get lucky, they get trapped. Yeah, I just really wish they'd add a bow or something to the game. Because this is just absolutely absurd. I hit her. Alright. Well, I'm one short, so I'll need to find myself one more deer. Let me see if I can't do that real quick. Eat up. There's one. Let's get it. It's a whole herd. Sadly, you're constrained by the cooldown of your forward roll. They do change course. They are actually evading you. Who to thunk? They don't like being hit with swords. There, 
right here a couple times. Game lagging really isn't helping me. There, we got enough now. And it looks like the daylight's already waning. Getting on into evening. I could go after more deer right now just to build up even further reserves because there's other things you can build with leather, but for now, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if we can get a campfire built. I want to put that on a platform, so I'm actually going to switch to stone. Oh, I don't have enough for a foundation. Well, that's why we have this. So maybe, no, let's stay on task here. I need to water my plants. Because they will die if you don't water them. But I think I got all day to do it, so... There we go. Took a lot less swings. Upgrading the tools is just absolutely the way to go. As early as you can do it. Alright, so we'll put this down. Now let's see if we can build a campfire. Oh, I need more stone and wood? I thought coal was what I was going to be short on. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait on that. Let's do the watering can thing right now. Let's not wait. Let's pull out the watering can. There. Now, it only has two doses of water. But there's a little trick. I can water all three of these fields with just two doses. Stand here in between them and I get both. You can also water stumps of trees you've cut down to make them regrow. It takes them like a day to regrow, but that's a way so you can get more wood. I think I may try it with this one just so I have a more ready source of wood. There we go. Very nice. All right. See if this one leaves a stump. We'll go ahead and water it as well if it does. Okay. I didn't see a stump. Let's get that wood. Oh, we need more. You always need more wood in this game, it feels like. And it's getting dark. Well, it's, now that will empty the watering can, so if we wanted to use it again, we'd need to refill it. Now eventually I need to build a well by our farm, but that can wait for now. Once we have a bigger farm, we will definitely want to do that. Let's see if we can build that campfire now. There we are, now we're cooking. Literally. Alright. it is. Now once we have the fire, we actually have to have fuel for it, and we have to have something to cook on it. So I'm going to put these on here. Click on this tab, you can see what it takes to make each thing. To make one leather, we need three hides. At least I think that's what they call it. Yeah, raw hide. So I'm actually going to hit minus because we you, know, you need groups of three. One doesn't do anything. Now we need some fuel for it. We do have plenty of wood. You can also use coal, but since that's a little harder to get, I prefer to use wood. Let's go ahead and light that up, and it takes some time to process. I've literally put all of our wood in there. So I'm going to get some more wood. We'll also want to cook that venison up because that's good to eat. Oh, there we go. Domino trees! That's so fun. So satisfying. Oh, we already wanted that tree. Okay, good. So here, I am actually going to sleep to the next day. Just so we get a little more light going, because it's kind of hard for you guys to see when it's dark. 
should have had my torch out, so I apologize if it was a little hard to follow along right then. Ooh. The backpack seller is actually offering the Indiana Jones hat and backpack. Well, satchel. Reduces the cooldown on your roll ability, so that's good for just general exploring, plus the movement speed boost, but... It's 120 gold. That's why we need to do a little fishing and make a little money. Whoops, wrong button. I'll make that disappear. Of course, you can get the hat, because who doesn't want to wear Indiana Jones hat? But we need this backpack. And we don't have the gold or the leather yet, although I think we should have the leather now. Hopefully that did finish processing. Good. So now we have the three leather we need. But now we need to make gold. We only have 13 gold to our name, so we need to go do some fishing. Now, I will probably cut most of that out, because I don't think you want to watch me playing Click the Mouse Simulator all day long. So I will cut it out and bring you guys back in when... We're ready to go get that backpack upgrade. Okay, welcome back. I just sold a bunch of my catch to the fishmonger. And now I have enough gold, so we're going to go and get that backpack. Hello, sir. I'll take that. Even had just a few gold left over. So now we can carry a hundred of each thing. That is a major quality of life improvement. Now the next level will be the Pioneer's Backpack. That will get us to 150. We need 250 gold and 5 leather for that. Now while I was busy fishing, I did hunt another deer down. And I actually got kicked in the face for my trouble. But I ate up and so you can see I recovered all my health. See, I oh I did have enough flowers to actually sell. Let's go ahead and sell a few and get a little bit of money. There we go. So we're getting ourselves solvent again. I want to eventually buy some wheat seeds. Is why. You need 30 to buy 5 wheat seeds. So I need to get 60 because I want to be able to plant a full field of wheat. I mean, I could buy more of these seeds. I'm not too worried I can find those plentifully enough in the wild. One last thing before it gets dark here. I think I'm going to head down to the dungeon area. And we'll go ahead and open it up, even though we're not actually going to go inside. I got it unlocked, but then you have to go down here and activate the obelisk in front of it to actually open the dungeon. Ow, okay, I fell a little far. Took a little damage, but that's okay, two health. Let's go ahead and... And there we are. That's not ominous at all. So, perhaps next episode we should tackle that dungeon. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to because I might like to get some of the armor and stuff from the blacksmith first. Let's see what that's going to take. See if I need more leather for that or anything. Or oh, recovered some health by being next to the fire. I forgot about that. So here you can see I can get leather armor. Oh, I do need leather for that. So I might need to go hunt some more deer, which I may do off-screen between episodes. So I don't think you need to watch me chase deer around all day. The other thing I need is the shield. Oh, I do have enough gold for it, so let's go ahead and grab that. Ooh, level up. There we go. Alright. Now one thing I did, I didn't sell all of my fish actually kept a few uh, bluegill on me to use for food. So I'll go ahead and cook those guys up. Add some wood to the fire and let's go ahead and get those processing. 
Oh, I should see about watering my crops again because it's a new day. So, watering can. Let's go ahead and get my torch out so you don't have to watch me flare around in the dark. So I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, we're watered. Gucci. So I'm going to let that stuff grow. We'll get that food cooked up. I think that'll be all for this episode. We got a fair amount done today. I mean, we got the new backpack and everything. So I'm going to next episode probably try to get that armor unlocked. Although actually I may do that between episodes. See if our fire is actually done here. All right, we do get we did get all our bluegill cooked. So if we go to that, see it actually heals us in addition to filling our stomach, which is nice. That'll be helpful in the dungeon. We might go get a little more of that again. I'll probably do that off screen. So next episode, I will probably go ahead and tackle the dungeon. I'll do a little work off camera. That way I can skip some of the tedium and get to the more exciting stuff. So that'll be it for this one. Make sure and smash that like button down below if you enjoyed this episode. And subscribe if you want to see more of my future content when it releases. You guys have a great day.